This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a clash between barbarism and civilization. For the forces of civilization to triumph, America and Israel must stand together. One of those freed hostages, Noor Gamani, is here in the gallery, sitting near my wife, Sarah. And it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Some of these protesters hold up signs proclaiming gays for Gaza. They might as well hold up signs saying chickens for KFC. Now here's my vision for the broader Middle East. America and Israel today can forge a security alliance in the Middle East to counter the growing Iranian threat. All countries that are at peace with Israel and all those countries who will make peace with Israel should be invited to join this alliance. The new alliance I envision would be a natural extension of the groundbreaking Abraham Accords. Those accords saw peace forged between Israel and four Arab countries and they were supported by Republicans and Democrats alike. I have a name for this new alliance. I think we should call it the Abraham Alliance. 